Hey kids, Mr. and Fly, I hope you're well. Now, as motorcycles go, I think the Speed Twin is pretty much perfect when it comes out of the box. When you buy one of these, there's not much that needs changing to make the thing look great. I just think it's a, a beautiful, classic motorcycle. Uh, one of the things you normally have to change on a bike is the tail end, and on this, it's not bad actually. I've said before that this is a bike that doesn't need a tail tidy, but having now lived with the bike for a few weeks, uh, this little bit here is starting to annoy me. Uh, so uh, I think it's time to get rid of that. I've already changed the number plate for one slightly smaller, but uh, in this video, I'm gonna actually install a tail tidy. So stick around, stay tuned. Let's see how easy that is. Okay, tail tidies for the Speed Twin then. Now I've done a bit of research and I can't actually find uh, many manufacturers that make tail tidies for the bike. Uh, one that does though, uh, my friends Tech Bike Parts, an amazing company, if you've not come across them before, they make all sorts of spares for Triumph Bonnevilles as well as other bikes. Really friendly to do business with, great people. Anyway, they've sent me their uh, tail tidy for the Speed Twin, which I have to say looks great. Let me show you what you get. Here we go, here's the tail tidy itself, uh, about uh, two and a half, three mil aluminium, and it looks like it's uh, powder coated actually. Uh, a really nice uh, stiff bit of kit, so uh, that's gonna bolt on the back end. You get a couple of um, little attachy bits, it'll become clear what they're for, not too sure. And they do give you a sort of exploded view uh, by way of an instruction manual. Now I'm not known for my technical prowess. Uh, it looks quite complicated. Let's, uh, let's give it a crack and see what happens. Right, first things first. Why do people say that? Of course you always do the first thing first. Anyway, uh, it says here, remove seat. Well, even I'm going to manage that. So there's a little key slot down here. Seat off. Ooh, nice and clean under here. Looking good. Let me show you, in fact, because your seat doesn't say that clean, does it, forever? So uh, look at that. Nice, eh? Alrighty. Okay, what next then? Uh, remove four bolts and two nuts at the rear of the frame items, 17, 14 and 15. Right, I'll crack on and do that. I'll speed this bit up because you don't want to watch me undoing bolts. So they were nuts and bolts uh, 17 and 14. So a little tip here, just as I go, so I know how to put it back together again, I'm going to label these. 7 and 14. So I can reverse my steps later. I don't know how other people keep track of all the nuts and bolts, but this is what I do. Right, next, uh, 15 needs to come off, right. Right, you can drop the mud guard down, which it is. And you will see a bolt, item 21 in the centre of the rear lamp holder. Hold the button, undo the nut under the guard, item 17. Uh, right. oh, yes. It's all getting wibbly wobbly. Okay, release the number plate light wiring plug. The assembly can now be removed. This must be the... Plug. Now these little connectors are always a pain, aren't they? Because they're always slightly different. So it's always good to have a little look and try and work out how it works. It looks like it's a press in and release type job. Maybe a little screwdriver in there. The one thing you don't want to do is spoil any fasteners. There we go. Come on. Out she comes. It's free. Okay, next step. Uh, split the lower and upper parts of the fender extender by removing all the small screws and remove the number plate, lamp and wire. So these look like all the small screws. We'll undo all those then. And uh, take this lamp and wires out, as it says. These are just little Allen bolts. Actually quite heavy this, there's going to be a slight weight saving by doing this. Split. Right, we need to take that number plate light and wires off, so uh, that wire just pulls straight through by the looks of it. Be careful of the connector. Easier said than done. Come on. Got it. And then looking down here, looks like there's, I don't know if you can see them, but down here there's some of those little um, weird star-shaped connectors like BMWs use just to disconnect 
the light. If I can get my driver in there. I'm not sure I can actually. How annoying. Yeah, it's definitely that one. If I just get enough purchase on it. Okay. No. Have a think. We right. While I'm pondering that, I think I'll just take the. Uh, I'm going to need the number plate again, so I'll just get that off. One less job to worry about. We need that again on the new tail tidy. Okay, back to this little light then. You see the problem. I don't know if you can, but the. Uh, these are the little heads I'm trying to get at, and I haven't got quite enough reach on my tool to get them. Let's see if I've got another tool I can use. Right, master stroke. Even though they are the little star-shaped BMW type connectors, I can't remember what they're called. In fact, an Allen key does fit in there enough to get them loosened. So uh, that's the answer to that one. There's always an answer to these little conundrums, isn't there? Come on, nearly there. One. Two. And there's the light we wanted. Excellent. Right, next it says here, uh, fit the spacers, spacers uh, fit the lamp and wires to the bracket using the holes provided and run the wires through the holes as in fig two. Here's fig two. Here's the bracket. Doesn't look hard, does it? The tight fit. Spoke too soon about it not looking hard. The hole's not quite big enough. Might have to uh, just get my file in there just to enlarge that hole slightly, which is a bit of a pain, but sometimes you have to do these sort of things. I don't want to damage that connector trying to get it through. It's just about, I don't know, half a mil not big enough. What a pain. What a pain. There's always something in there with these things. It just won't quite go through there. It's just a hair's breadth away, so I'm just going to file that hole very slightly bigger. I've got some wooden jaws on my vice here, so it's not going to mark it. It's just, uh, unfortunately, it'll remove the anodized coating, which obviously then opens it up to potential corrosion in the future, but it's got to be done in this case, otherwise I just won't be able to fit it. The other way, of course, is just to drill the hole a bit bigger is another option. But I'll see if I can get away with filing to start with. Bingo. That works. Perfect. These little things always sent to trials, aren't they? Okay, right, let's get back on with the building this bracket up as per the little diagram here. Another spacer. Right, back to the bolt, I think. Okay, pass the bolt up through the rear lamp holder, only fitting the nut loosely at this stage and uh, connect the number plate lights. Okay, so. Right, they're just finger tight at the moment. Right, I think that's the tricky bits done. I've just got to uh, put the remaining bolts in, tighten everything up, put the uh, number plate back on, and then we'll check she works and see what she looks like. Right, all tight. Let's check the lights all work. Turn her on. Got a rear light. Indicators are still good. Check the brake. That's good. And the number plate light is on. Excellent. Right, stick the number plate back on. Right, number plate on. <laughs> Seat back on. There we go. Great. Excellent, so there we go. That's the uh, Tech Bike Parts tail tidy in place. So this is just a reminder of what it looked like before and then a little look of after. 
And you can see it's just got rid of that big long leg that we had on there. And uh, it really was no hassle, even for somebody like me, a technical numpty. As long as you follow that exploded view and you follow the instructions, piece of cake. So I really recommend that. I just think it tidies up the back end of the uh, Speed Twin, an absolute treat. I'll stick a link below to the, uh, to the part if you're interested. But uh, yeah, recommend that one to the house. All right, that's it for now. Hope there's been of some interest. Be some more stuff coming from the garage soon. Uh, look forward to speaking to you again then. Till then, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio.